please stay away. Oh, poor little Melody thinks she can control me. I mean, come on. You really think you can deal with me the easy way? Come on, please, Melody. You're nothing but a pathetic little dog. Leave us alone. Go away. Oh, poor little lesbian Gwen. Lesbian? What are you talking about? Are you kidding? We're not. We're not lesbians. What? Um, they're not lesbians, dude. Yeah, they are. They kissed right in front of my face. If you don't believe me, you're just showing how incredibly stupid you are. Ha, <laughs> losers! Um, we're not stupid. Obviously, you're just lying. Yeah, man. You changed, Dakota. Pfft, whatever, idiots. You might as well just admit to your mistake. Mistake? Being a lesbian isn't a mis- I mean- even if we were lesbians, that wouldn't be a mistake. You are lesbian, though. No, she's not. We're not lesbians. We're straight, completely straight. Stop acting like you know everything. Like, you are not lesbians. <sighs> yeah, well then, would you kiss a boy? Just watch me. <gasps> <gasps> Told you. <gasps> Don't worry, I'm not cheating on you. Keeping me over was a little bit unnecessary. Don't you think, Melody? Stop, you're a psychopath. You can't make me do anything. Melody, no! The heck? Stop being such a psychopath. No, stop! Melody! Dakota, leave her alone. She did nothing to you. It's called self defense. Um, this is called self defense. Stop! <laughs> Melody! Aw, oh, poor baby. You can't do anything about this, Melody. Face it. Oh, my dog, stop! You're gonna hurt her! Yeah, you're gonna hurt her! Stop! Not until you stop crying. Come do something about it, wimp. You know what? Huh? That's what you get. Now stay away from them, you monster! Come on, guys. Melody? <coughs> Right, can't you see that? Dog, you blind wannabes. <laughs> oh, Gwen, I'm so sorry. She didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve this. And Dakota's a boy. He's really, really changed. <laughs> I know. It's horrible. You're home. How was your first day of school? <laughs> Gwen? What's wrong with Gwen? Um, school was horrible. My ex-friend Monica found out about her relationship and now she's threatening to tell the whole school unless we do everything she wants. What? Hold on, what? You should have tried to keep it a secret. We did, but she just found out. I'm so sorry, Mom. We tried to keep it a secret the best we could, but she found out and now she's threatening us. I'm so sorry. She's gonna tell the whole school about her relationship and Gwen's pregnancy if... Wait, she found out about Gwen's pregnancy? This can't be. Well, yes, it can be. Sadly. And that's why we want to be homeschooled by some sort of babysitter or, or just something. I don't really care. We just cannot live in a public school. Seriously. I'm not asking you to live in a public school. You can't attend one, period. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm sorry, honey, but that just won't work out. You're just going to have to do what she wants. What? You're letting her take the bait of glory? I'm so sorry. You're not sorry. You don't even give a single crap about us. We might as well just both go back to the orphanage. Excuse me, I'm your mother. I'm trying to do what's best. Either do what Monica wants, or you two need to break up. What? But mom... I'm sorry. There's no other way.
I don't want us to break up. I love you. I love you too, Gwen, but maybe Mom's right. I think we just have to. To get Monica to leave us alone. No, I'll do anything. Anything. And it's just not going to work. I'm so sorry. I just want us to be together. Please, I love you. I love you more than words can express. <laughs> Gwen, I love you too. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Can we please, please just go shopping? I, I suppose, I mean, you still have some more money left, right? Literally like tons. Okay, I guess we have no other choice. We had to go shopping. Oh, would you look at this? The lesbians, how adorable. And you switched your skirts too, how cute. <sighs> I'm mature to spread germs. My favorite color's blue, hers is pink and purple, okay? We decided to switch and we washed these before we switched. Just stop harassing us. We're willing to do whatever you want, just don't harass us. Um, I said you two were adorable. And since when did I say spreading germs was a bad thing? <laughs> How disgusting. Ew! What did you eat? <laughs> I ate an ice cream sandwich. Gross! There's chocolate saliva all over the ground! Gross! What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, looks like it's gonna rain soon. Clouds are forming. <sighs> Great. It's gonna be dark once we get home. Come on, you wimpy crybabies. Let's just go. Hey girls, listen up. Don't pick anything that'll make me look fat. Don't pick anything that'll make me look ugly. Basically, just pick anything that'll make me look absolutely flawless. <laughs> I'll be waiting in the dresser room. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I know, right? I mean, why should we have to do her shopping for her? Ugh, there's not even anyone else in here, seriously. That's because we close in 15 minutes. Hurry up. 15 minutes? <sighs> Let's hurry up and pick something. We've got no time to lose. Do we get her a visor? Get anything, I really don't care. I'm gonna get this bow. Whatever. Come on, we gotta pick out things quick. Okay, okay. Um, these look pretty good. Um, got a couple bows over here. She'll totally dig that purse over there. Huh? You're right. Um, Mel, what do you think that pillow's for? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really want to think about it right now. Hey, maybe we could get that pillow for her. Maybe she'll like that too. She just wants clothes and jewelry right now, okay? Let's not go all out. Besides, don't you want to stick to a budget here? Please, all this crap is already worth like, $3 million. Do you have that much? In the bank, yeah, but with me, I only have like 4,500. Oh gosh, this isn't good. <sighs> Hopefully she'll only pick up the things that are worth 4,500. I know it doesn't help much, but I have $250 with me right now. <sighs> I just wish she could use some of her own money. I just wish mom wouldn't just let her walk all over us. I was hoping she'd take my babysitting idea. I mean, don't you think that was a good idea? Yeah, in my opinion, there was no reason for your mom to turn that down. We have so many reasons to get a babysitter to just homeschool us instead of going to some sort of uptight public school where people are just going to judge us and make fun of us. I love you so much, babe. I love you too.